again it's Dave and today I'm going to do a review of The Fog from uh, www.funstore.gr um, The Fog is a juice feeding system uh, with a 901 atomizer built inside it uh, holds somewhere between somewhere around 3 mil of juice I think um, and uh, could be a good solution to not having to fill up every sort of 10 minutes or something uh, when you're vaping uh, now very quickly I received this about a week ago but I couldn't get it to work with the 901 atomizer that I ordered along with it um, it wouldn't wick I couldn't get any sort of vapor I was just getting a continual burnt taste so uh, I actually gave up on it a week ago um, I've now got some uh, some more 901 atomizers which were recommended to me on the UK Vapors Forum made by East Mal and I got them from uh, www.ivaporelixir.co.uk uh, they arrived this morning I fitted it into the fog and all of a sudden everything's working and it's a good thing so I'm going to cut away going to show you how the thing fits together how you refill it uh, it's not as difficult as I thought it was going to be um, and um, all the early indications are that this could be a very useful thing. Uh, so let's have a look and see how it all fits together and how you fill it up. Okay, well as you can see, the um, the fog actually uh, comes in quite a few parts. Now it did come assembled, and as I say, I ordered a 901 atomizer uh, along with the order and it actually came fitted as well so uh, it did come with some instructions which are pretty good actually to show you how it all fits together and how you fill it um, and uh, so, so you know it, it wasn't that complicated if you follow the instructions properly uh, you should be fine I'll start by talking about the atomizer um, uh, the, the atomizer that, that I have delivered with it is uh, a 901 low resistance job um, and as you can see from the fact it's attached to that screwdriver it's actually a perfectly functioning atomizer in normal conditions um, I don't know whether you can see here um, I tried everything to get it to where you can see it's a bit scratched up there and the holes a little bit larger I tried everything to get it to wick juice while it was built inside the fog uh, and just gave up I uh, spent sort of several hours trying to get it to work and all I was getting was a horrible horrible burnt taste um, and every time I emptied the fog I lost a bit of juice so I must have lost three or four mil of juice um, and uh, you know even with the, the, the most the, the least viscous the most watery juice I've got uh, I couldn't get it to work um, so I was all ready to uh, send it back or put it in the bin or something um, uh, fortunately uh, on the UK Vapors forum some people had had them and said they were brilliant um, so what I did was I found out what atomizers they, they were using and I ordered these from uh, iVapor.co.uk uh, iVaporElixir.co.uk I apologise and these are low resistance 901 atomizers that look very like the one that was delivered with it um, but these are in fact East Mal manufactured ones uh, so I went for these specifically because they're known to work with the fog as I said they they arrived this morning, I've assembled the thing and it's been going great for the last couple of hours, I've had no issues. So, uh, right, there are a lot of parts. Uh, in actual fact, it's actually quite simple the way it works. Uh, we'll just put the battery out the way for the moment, we don't need that just yet, that's the last thing we're going to be needing. Um, to assemble it, the easiest thing to do is you've got this, this, this bottom cap with a knurled sort of screw finish here um, which attaches to the atomizer so I start with that so of course you only need to uh, separate those two parts when your atomizer needs changing which hopefully won't be for a few days yet so attach that cap to the atomizer that in turn well, let's start with this I've, I should have had the leaflet handy to come up with the correct names for this. I think this is called the atomizer extender. And that's just basically a uh, steel tube that fits in the end of the atomizer. It gives a nice snug fit. Um, I 
I've got some tissue paper on there because I just emptied it just to show you how it fits together. There we go. And that it essentially uh, creates a juice tight seal on the top of the atomizer so the juice can't get in through the top when you fill the tank. Uh, the juice now will be filtered through the air hole and the lighting isn't great so I apologise for that. Can't get that to focus. Um, uh, the air hole in the side of the atomizer is where the juice gets in. It doesn't get in through the bottom, it doesn't get in through the top. The assembled atomizer now screws into the bottom of the main juice chamber. Uh, the right way around. Don't. And that wants to be pretty firmly put together, pretty tight. That needs to be tight enough so that juice won't escape. Okay, um, now you're ready to fill it. So, to fill it, they provide this little orange cap. Um, you will need this. This, is, this isn't really optional. Uh, the way the unit works is uh, it depends on an airtight seal being in place once the mouthpiece is put on at the end. Uh, if air is getting in the top, as it obviously will when it's in this state, the juice will come out the bottom. So you do need this orange cap. I found mine a bit tricky to put on the first time, but it's softened a bit now, now it's been used a bit. Uh, but you really want to fit that tight over the atomizer connector at the end of the unit. And that's purely just to stop the juice falling out the bottom when we fill it up. Now, I've been putting uh, about two, two and a half millimetres of juice in at a time. And I'm using some really cheap Chinese juice that I've got. That I don't even particularly like the flavour of, to be honest with you. But while I'm experimenting and demonstrating, we'll use the cheap stuff. Um, and I've been using a syringe to put it in. Uh, you should be able to drip it. Uh, I just found you could be a bit more precise doing it this way. Uh, plus you know how much is going in. So I'm going to put in about two and a half millilitres. Looks like it might take a little bit more, but that'll do for, for starters. So inside there, you can see uh, a metal rim, uh, if I do that. And the juice basically has got to go down the side of that metal rim that you can see. And it's all the wrong way around on camera there. Um, so what I do is I'm just putting the syringe just not all the way down the side, but just against the edge and tipping the whole unit and squeezing it in slowly. And you need to fill it. Eventually you'll see the juice come over that metal cap that you can see. Um, and the instructions suggest that you should stop putting the juice in just before it reaches metal thread, I can get a bit more in there, or always a bit light. So there's a thread onto which the uh, mouthpiece fits and you can fill it up until the juice just comes to the bottom of that thread. Uh, you may or may not be able to see, I can't tip it too much, all the juice will come out. But it's filled basically to about here. To about there. I would say. Right, now we can attach the mouthpiece and create the airtight seal so all the juice doesn't pour out the bottom. Um, the mouthpiece comes in uh, three sections if you count the little O-ring that goes in there. You see that little O-ring in the bottom? Uh, that's absolutely vital <laughs> for the airtight seal. Uh, if that's missing uh, or dislodged then you've got problems. So make sure that O-ring is in place. And the plastic mouthpiece fits onto this little collar and screw threads in. Um, now, whilst connecting this piece, whilst connecting this piece to the the main unit, uh, the the instructions and an instructional video I saw done by the guys who sell it, uh, just just loosen that half a turn, just to let a bit of air through. Pop that on and tighten up. and tighten that the rest of the way. Make sure they're reasonably tight, these seals. And 
now what you have to do is drain off the uh, excess liquid. So the way you do that is take off the orange cap and hold it back over the bottle and you'll see liquid dropping back into the bottle. And that starts to slow down, just get a little blow. Wait till it stops dripping and once that's finished I just give the whole connection a little wipe. A bit of tissue. You put the battery connector on. Uh, there are two air holes which are vital to the way it works. You want those towards the uh, atomizer connector not towards the battery. Tighten that up. And that has got the better part of 3ml of juice in it, ready to go. Shouldn't have any leaks or anything like that, I've certainly not experienced any. Uh, just make sure everything's reasonably tight. Attach your battery. Good to go. So that's the fog fully assembled. Um, I shall be putting it to its paces over the next few days. Uh, as you can see, uh, it fundamentally works. Um, I'm yet to try it with a more viscous juice. Uh, that'll be the real test for me. I tend to vape a um, 50-50 PG-VG mix. Uh, this is just pure PG and quite a watery one at that. Um, so I shall be trying that very shortly. Um, and I'll uh, probably put, uh, put a note about that on my blog when it does or doesn't work. So you'll be able to see this uh, in the next day or two on uh, www.thehappyvapor.com, which is my blog. Um, um, all the indications are that this is actually going to be a great thing. Um, that's uh, I, my um, my biggest gripe about vaping is the uh, the inconvenience of having to refill and how constantly you have to do it. Uh, I do a lot of uh, driving with my work. Uh, and you need something that's going to last you for a journey for a few hours sometimes because it's just inconvenient to keep stopping uh, and topping up cartos or dripping or whatever so um, uh, this could be the solution so far so good as you can see it's performing well uh, that was the fog Thank you very much for watching.